Hello friends, this is Durga from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. So now let us understand what is a bare metal server and what is the relevance of hosting service providers as part of the bare metal server. So a bare metal server is a physical machine. Uh, it will have de designated memory, storage, um, CPU, etc. Uh, so typically bare metal servers are bought by the organizations and they will have it in their data centers but these days with uh, many companies such as Rackspace, OVH.com and many other companies who provide hosting services you can get the bare metal server um, managed by someone else so you don't need to buy the bare metal server and set up the cooling system um, and uh, all other things and if once you rent from a hosting service provider if something goes wrong on the server which is provisioned by you it's their responsibility to take care of fixing it and giving it back to you you don't need to worry too much about the server as they will be supporting many clients you will uh, get the server replaced uh, uh, within the SLS there are there will be predefined SLS and if they broke um, break those SLS they will Pay you some money back anyway so bare metal server is nothing but a physical server which will have designated ram cpu uh, ram means memory cpu and storage and uh, the companies such as rackspace ovh.com are called as hosting providers so we can rent a bare metal server with a designated ram or memory cpu and storage and then we can do whatever we want on that so there are many companies such as Rackspace, OVH, uh, many, many companies which, which will provide the bare metal server uh, on rent for you. They, from India, there, is, there are companies like Control S, um, I think Big Rock, uh, there are many companies. Netmagic, uh, from all those companies, you can actually get the bare metal server. Okay. So in this case, I will be uh, showing you the hosting uh, providers such as ovh.com and also Rackspace. So here I am going to Rackspace.com and this is OVH. So from OVH you can go to dedicated and you can see that there are servers available starting from $69 per month. So you can click on this. And you can see different configurations here and the price, uh, uh, prices, uh, sorry, uh, different configurations. This is CPU and this is memory. So you can uh, choose a um, variety of configurations starting from 4 CPUs or 8 cores to 24 CPUs or 48 cores. Uh, means each, each CPU have 2 cores. Uh, so you, it can go up to 48 cores or 48 threads. Uh, and from memory perspective, it starts from 16 GB and it couldn't go up to 512 GB. So what does that mean? Is for, for example, if you are looking for 8 CPU, 16 threads and 64 GB RAM, you can choose from here and it will give you the price at the bottom. Okay, so you can see this 64 GB uh, machine is $135, uh, 8 CPU and 16 threads with 64 GB RAM, okay, and you get 2 by 2 uh, terabyte uh, storage for $135 per month. So you can see the prices. If it is 128 GB, it is $219. If it is 64 GB, it is $135. So you can also reduce the cap here for example if you want to see only 64 GB you can narrow down the filtering and you will see only the 64 GB servers okay so in this case I want to see both 32 GB and 64 GB I don't it is not coming up okay I think uh, with 8 CPU 16 tiers uh, threads it, it has only 
uh, it starts from 64 GB only. Now let me let me see now. Yeah, there is a eight CPU, sixteen threads, thirty two GB for one or nine dollars. Okay, so we can use this one. We can order. So it comes with eight CPUs and sixteen threads, and one or nine dollars is the price per month. So when it comes to bare metal servers, typically uh, it will not be pay as you go model. Once you, you rent. You have to pay for the whole month that's the caveat uh, behind uh, these bare metal servers you cannot get it um, um, as pay as you go model which means that you only pay for the amount of usage that is not possible when it comes to bare metal servers in most of the cases with OVH they also rent it for one week so you have to at least rent it for a week if it is eligible for a weekly rentals uh, it will show the change the duration here and you will see the one week uh, options here we can go back and see if there are any one one week options and let us see let us try to uh, rent uh, the server with one week uh, uh, rental option and also sometimes they change the uh, rental terms okay there is no machine for uh, one week so we'll take it for one month so I'm choosing in North America East Coast Canada and data centers so there are multiple data centers for ovh.com click on continue Click on continue. Okay. Click on continue. Click on continue. And then you can choose uh, whether you want to pay with credit card or PayPal or just by card. So in this case, I'm trying to buy it through PayPal. So I'm paying it right away. So now the payment is done it will take a while for you to get your first server you have to fill uh, some uh, uh, information and also you have to provide some uh, details about uh, your company address proof etc if it is a company if it is individual also you have to provide address proof photo proof etc and then they will allot the server to you uh, probably uh, most likely it will take 48 hours up to 48 hours to get your server sometimes it might take up to one week also so it can take anywhere between couple of hours to 48 hours typically to get your server uh, sometimes it might take uh, up to a week also and this is the case only with your first server once you provide the necessary proofs uh, by following their email threads uh, you will get the server allocated to you and then you can start using it the way you want in our case we will try to set up virtual machines okay that being said uh, there are other providers also which are more popular than ovh.com um, that is rack space and you can go to dedicated hosting if you want to get a bare metal server click on this one and here you can see the details okay Somewhere they will give the price also, yeah, estimate your costs if you click on this. It will give, give you the approximate cost uh, in Rackspace. Rackspace is much more expensive but it, 
are also much more reliable than ovh.com. So it is a little bit slower today. Yeah. Okay, one minute actually it should. Yeah, dedicated servers. This is the one. Go to com infrastructure compute and then dedicated servers. Yeah, this is the one which you need to look into. So you can see uh, a 32 GB single processor hex core dedicated server with six cores costs $499 per month. If it is uh, quad core 128 GB with 32 cores it costs eight seventy nine dollars per month. So depending upon your requirement, you can choose whatever server you want. Okay. So this is the pricing of Rackspace, and each vendor uh, the cost will vary significantly, and uh, the service level agreements might vary, and the type of servers they provide to you can significantly vary. Rackspace is much more reliable than OVH.com. That being said, there are other others also something called Control S. It's a Indian-based popular uh, uh, data center. And if you want to go for bare metal servers, Click on dedicated hosting and uh, they don't display the price directly. You have to reach out to them about the pricing. Okay, and I'm not sure about the pricing. As per my research, ovh.com is the cheaper one. There are some issues with respect to support and all, but uh, for us to kickstart uh, the development and uh, uh, to kickstart our learning process by setting up virtual machines to learn any new technology, I think ovh.com uh, is enough, at least as of today. Okay, that being said, we will wrap up for now. We will see uh, how to set up uh, the, uh, the hypervisor and then uh, understand the concepts of virtualization, uh, set up something called PFSense or virtual router, what is private IP, public IP, uh, and how to uh, minimize the number of uh, uh, public IPs and use a couple of public IPs but still create uh, many virtual machines uh, whatever number we want based upon our infrastructure and uh, uh, then start creating the virtual machines. We will see all those details as we proceed further. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel or con uh, on uh, my platform called ITVersity. If you like this video, uh, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss further, please stay tuned. I'll be creating uh, a much more robust platform with the discussion forums and uh, several other things embedded in it uh, so that we can actually share our knowledge among, uh, uh, among our peers and uh, whoever is interested to interact with us, we, we can have a reliable platform. And that being said, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.